first of many, hopefully. Uh, as you all know, the city of Manila acquired two machines. And this is a machine made by Abon. And we have a machine that started a class by 1,000 SR. This machine, the test, individuals uh, up to uh, at least uh, 100 on a maximum level per hour and this also found the first result will come 29 minutes on first 29 minutes and every seconds thereafter so, with those capacity of the city we promise you that within 24 hours you will be notified of the uh, result of the testing and we are hoping in a few hours, hopefully. But para lang mga organisan mo taas ang expectations natin, at least 24 hours, alam mo na, may inform ka na. Everybody is welcome. Because this pandemic has a city government to every Filipinos here in uh, the country or the zone in every community. So, ang pinang simple lang mo, no? So, ang pwede ito na, dapat na gulong, para wala, para hindi na tayo pwede ka, dapat na gulong, at anong puli na rin dalawang gulong, dapat na pwede gulong. So, ang pwede ko sabihin natin, ang at pare, yung gusto ng lahat, para magpates, hinihikaya pa rin kayo, lumakot na ito sa anong hospital at health center, kasi meron na talaga doon. Ngayon, kung tayo naman ang class 5, Meron na kayong nararamdamang symptoms o wala pero meron kayong pinatanggap na I think psychologists will agree with me nowadays uh, the COVID fatigue or COVID anxiety so if you're still in a peace of mind you can get it for free here in the city of Manila para lang mapakanapag natin ang panuubal na ang muna yan I am grateful to my Vice Mayor, Vice Mayor Hagi Lapura, who are uh, with us. Uh, she's a doctor, who are with us. We are the doctors of our fight against COVID-19. To our doctors and nurses, and MSDs, and medical, uh, and medical practitioners, and to our director of uh, our folks, Anna. So, We are the only city who started ano, in the world and we take pride of this. We are the first city in the world who come up with a law with regard to discrimination of medical headquarters and those patients who were infected in the city. So you might be violating the provision of those ordinance. At may take time you. You may uh, take it lightly because it's an ordinance, but you know, you can be jailed of being discriminatory to any person here in Manila. So, as a result of what we have we will protect your data according to our existing laws. And three, that is why we encourage you to go to Tawili to give you peace of mind. Whether you are uh, in that symptoms or not, you can go ahead. That's why we would prefer, we would prefer, say in the behavior. To the Iya Kulo, the Iya Kulo. Iniisip natin yun. Kasi nga, totoo yung tanong ni Pat, may mga kapapayan tayo, may agam-agam sa data, may agam-agam kakanyang makakita, 
pandemic dito sa Manila at hindi na i-sustain ito dahil wala pa tayong katiyakan until when itong pandemic. But, wala ka kami pera. Kaya to be honest and straightforward to you. But when we did this, we appropriated such money for the next thousands of numbers of possible tests for capacity to test. I think, alam mo, yung initial na kayo mong gawin, 11,000. And yesterday, Vice Mayor and I were talking and asking donations from our friends. Pero ang bakang natin ito niya, COVID. Ang data, 
kung meron kang mga tao na hindi pa nasa quarantine facilities natin. As we speak, 61% o 545 bed capacity o bawat quarantine facility in the city of Occupy. So, it is timely, we have been and we have a resources to absorb such people. Sir, matanong mo na rin po ngayon kasi there are some critics who are saying that this is like Kokhang. If you remember before, tumakatok lang rin po yung mga polis sa mga bahay-bahay para matanong ng mga involved sa droga. Parang nakuhay ba ulit yung Kokhang with the presence of police going with the epidemiologists to knock on each of these people's doors and ask for those COVID positive to come with them. Your reaction on this, sir? I will continue to believe that in a civilized world, in a civilized time, we are guided by law and order. Abuses will not be allowed in the city of Manila. Any circumvention of such program or policy will not be allowed and tolerated in Manila. We have COVID-19 pandemic, dreadful COVID-19 virus, deadly. Our goal as we do, we are only the way is to continue to arrest, continue to contain the growth of COVID-19. Now, it is taking more. But, it's not the case of COVID. It has nothing to do with any other way. You know, 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 Anis, para nasa natin ito, ang isyo na tatang ng pag-ibig. Ito ka ako ha, the time of heart. Ito ka, ito ka ito, yung principle behind the policy. And I believe, pwede sa buong international government. Now, here in Manila, masama sa kayo, yung rights, may be protected, no harm, may pump to you, may approach it. COVID-19 in different aspects, like what we have here today. Pero ano na lang, kaya lang yung balong simulan yung pagkatapok na ito, kasi yung mga ako nag-inis ko yan eh, nag-inihingi ng tulong ng DILP. So, meron po ba tayo sa mga kalan? Pag dumating na sila sa akin. Ah, okay. So, sa kanila mga galing, and then mga kalan. Kasi sila ang mag-isip ng programa, I think we need to inform, we need to write down, the rules, and all other things. And here is the point. At that point now, we are offering other means. And this is one way of doing it. Making it available for eight hours a day. Ten candles and maybe not only Manila, but the only person who will pass by a busy road and go on. Then have a few guests for this kind of all of the resources. How many people can you test for day? ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไ